Okay, RAF, the Rutan Aircraft Factory. Talk a little bit about the model airplanes of RAF. These aren't model airplanes. These are, they had a birthday party when I was 50, so they got a bunch of guys showed up for that. Okay, we did a full-scale model for deep stall testing of the Long Easy. So here we got a model on a truck, on a, on a balance, so we could measure its lift and drag and pitching moment. Um, to this day, my wife Carolyn was the only uh, pinup model that's been on the cover of Sport Aviation. They, you know, that's kind of a uh, Bible Belt sort of organization. So they, they, there was a lot of, there was a lot of flack when they when they ran that cover in in uh, '73, I think it was. Okay, NASA was interested in these things too. They did some wind tunnel testing. The, the pictures on the lower, the lower right here are radio control models. I went ahead and put out plans for the RC model of the very big one. And not a very good flying RC model, but it was something I could make a, another nickel and a dime for. How many have seen the movie Death Race 2000? Okay. <laughs> they got a hold of, uh, uh, remember Tall Mance? Uh, Paul Mance died uh, shooting uh, the movie uh, uh, Flight of the Phoenix. Uh, when it landed, the thing fell in, uh, broke the fuselage, and he was killed. But Tallman was still around. And this movie production outfit got with Tallman and said, we need a futuristic airplane for this year 2000, Death Race 2000. We're, we're talking 1974 here. So they're looking way in the future to the year 2000, and they need a futuristic airplane. So he came over to my place and said, I want to rent your airplane, son. And I said, you do? He says, I says uh, well, I've got to fly it. And he said, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Frank Tallman. I'm the, I'm the stunt pilot. And I looked at him, and he had a wooden leg. <laughs> and the very vegan was real touchy on the rudder pedals. And I said, listen, I, 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 don't just, I don't just let anybody fly. I mean, it kind of offended him, I guess. But I said, no, I'm not going to do that. So anyway, uh, a month later, Tommen went to Europe for some other reason. And the mo movie producers went around him and gave me a call. And they said, hey, can you do it? We'll let you fly it. And I says, you bet. So I quoted him $750. And that was wet. I had to buy all the gas and everything. So we did some interesting stuff. And if you've seen the movie, near the end of the movie, you can see the stuff where we're buzzing the, uh, uh, buzzing the cars and bombing them. And I'm going to show you some of the film here from it. It does have, an, it does have a radio control model on the end because they, 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 the very big one crashes into a mountain and explodes and burns. And I refuse to do that part of it. So. <laughs> So they did a they did a movie for that. So uh, excuse me, a model for that. So here we go, Death Race 2000. Uh, Simeon Griffith. Okay, here's one, some of the passes. I took off and landed on this little road in in Red in near Red Rock Canyon. So I'm supposed to buzz the car. That's really fun flight. Now look real carefully. I'm down on the deck and they got a camera in the back of this truck and it's really cool when it when the truck's doing about 60 and you're only doing about 75 so you only get it gaining on them by 15 miles an hour it's really fun okay here's the here's where I'm, i fly up a blind canyon and crash and here's the model that they built and they slid it down a wire and then they'd uh, blow it up yeah, normal kind of explosion you'd have when you got 12, 10 gallons of gasoline, right? 